Hi guys, it's Kate. So today I'm going to be taking you through exactly how to use your new Creality Ender KE printer. I purchased this printer myself off of Amazon. I really like it so far. I think it's a great beginner printer and I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do in order to get a print like this on your printer. It's really easy to get started with the printer. I'll show you exactly how to find a file like this, download it, slice it, and then print it. All right, so we're going to start by loading this filament onto the printer. I'm using this OVV 3D shiny silk uh, filament. It's a PLA. It's got this really cool metallic shiny purple filament. I think that the shark is going to look really good with this filament. So I'll just start by adding this spool onto the spool holder here, and then I'm going to insert the filament into this filament detector here. And once it's on, you're gonna see a little blue light here to show that the filament is in the filament detector and being detected. The filament detector is a nice feature of this 3D printer. Uh, if you run out of filament or if there's an issue, breakage of your filament, then it will stop printing and allow you a chance to replace the filament so you don't waste the whole print. So once we have done that, we're going to bring the filament over and we're going to insert it here into this little gold area here. So you are going to take your filament, press it in, and then pull back with your thumb on this and you should feel it go down about another inch. And now we're ready to heat up the nozzle and extrude a little bit of filament. So here's the touch screen and this one's not as straightforward. So we're gonna go to settings and we are going to go up here to extrude and retract. And we are going to extrude the filament. So this will allow us to um, load that filament and make sure it's actually coming through the nozzle because you want it to go all the way through the nozzle so that when you start printing the filaments right there and your first layer has filament actually going through. So right now you can see that it's heating up and then once it heats up, it is going to start um, extruding that filament through the nozzle. So now we've got it at the right temperature. We're gonna just move over here to the nozzle and I'll try to get a nice view of the nozzle here. And so now the um, filament will extrude through the nozzle. So now I'm going to take you through the auto leveling process, which is important to make sure that you have a good print and that your first layer, which is the most important layer, sticks properly to the bed. So you're going to want to auto level. When you first turn on the printer, it's going to go through the auto leveling process. But in case you miss that, then what you're going to want to do, I'll just show you up close here. So you're going to want to click the settings buttons here. Sorry, the setting button setting buttons here and then you're going to want to go do equipment self-test and then you're going to want to go to auto leveling and automatic Z offset and you're going to want to start detecting and it takes around 15 minutes to set the Z offset and do the auto leveling process so you'll press start. So this is a sped up version of the auto leveling process so you can see what it looks like. Like I said, it takes about 15 minutes. And now I'm gonna show you how we find the 3D model to print. So I like this website called printables.com. It's a great website for finding free 3D models to print. As you can see here, they have a whole bunch of different contributors that will list their 3D models and you can download and print them for free. Just make sure that you check the attribution and the commercial rights. You can't necessarily sell the things that are on this website. So I am going to uh, look up articulated prints because I think articulated prints are really fun. And I also think it's a good test of the 3D printer. So we'll put in articulated and you can see a whole bunch of different cool articulated figures and animals. I have printed this one by McGeeber before this articulated shark. My kids love sharks. So I'm gonna go with this one. I think it's gonna look really cool with my filament. So all you do is you press download here and 
It will take you to the model files. Then you'll have a few options to choose from depending on the print. I'm gonna go with Shark version D here. And this is gonna download an STL file. So now let's take you over to the slicing software. Going to slice that STL file using our slicing software. So for this printer, we're using the CrowdT print slicing software, which is available on their website to download. And so it's actually a very simple software that makes it easy. So what you're going to do is you are going to open file and you're going to find that downloaded STL file, so shark. I'm gonna open it up here and it's going to bring up the file on your virtual print bed. And then what you're going to do is you are going to slice the file. Now you can see here there are two different parameters that are available standard. There's the high quality and the normal quality uh, parameters. I actually have found both to have pretty good printing results. And you can see there's just a slight difference in the layer height between the two. Otherwise, things are actually uh, very similar between these two parameters. Of course, you could go through and create your own parameters if you want to be um, more specific or if you're having troubles with your print quality. But for me, I've had good results just using these standards and I will go with the high quality for this one. So then what you're going to do is you're going to press slice and it will start processing your file. What slicing does is it creates a code that your printer will receive that will tell your printer exactly what it needs to do to layer by layer replicate this 3D print. So that's what the slicing software does. So now I'll show you how to send it to your printer. All right, so it's finished slicing and now it's showing a preview here of the model. One thing to note is that this standard setting does include an auto brim which helps with adhesion but that's something that as you get more advanced you may want to adjust over time. What I love about this Creality printer is that it has print over Wi-Fi so you can actually send the file over Wi-Fi to your printer. For me that's a huge advantage. I've had issues with other printers uh, with the USB. So you click on this Wi-Fi button and you'll uh, see the print file and then you'll see your printer over Wi-Fi. If you don't see your printer show up then you can press scan add or manual add here. Otherwise you'll send the G code over to your printer or you can use one click printing, but I prefer to send the G code over just because I wanna make sure my printer is ready and the bed plate's clear before I send off a print. So here we go, we're gonna send it over to the printer now. So now I've sent that print file over to my printer and I'm gonna go here to my file screen and I'm going to find that shark print that I'm wanting to print. There it is. So I've got my shark and I can just press print here and it's going to start my print. And so here is a sped up time lapse video of how this shark prints on the printer. It's pretty cool. All right, so here it is on the plate. So I'm just going to pull it off and I'm going to just go like this. You'll hear that kind of crunch sound and I'll be able to pull off the model from the plate. You can see there's that brim that printed, so I am gonna have to just do a little bit of cleanup here to pull the brim, which again, is just um, a little bit of extra filament along the edges to help with adhesion. So I'll just clean that up and then we'll take a look at the print. All right, so here we go. Here is how the print turned out. This is the articulated shark. I think it turned out fantastic. I love this little articulated toy, fidget toy. Again, my kids love this and I have been amassing them with many fidget toys since I started 3D printing. I love the way the filament looks. And so this is a great example of something you can make with your new Creality printer. Um, hope this helped you to understand exactly what you need to do in order to use your printer and drop any questions in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're looking for more 3D printing content.